All right, I've had a lot of comments and questions about the uh, Dorsey step deck. Uh, at Matt's, I met the Dorsey guys and uh, they told me to give them a wish list of uh, everything I wanted on a step deck trailer. I've never hauled a step deck trailer. So I reached out to, uh, we got a, Mercer's got a Facebook group uh, Mercer driver so I reached out to some of them guys on Facebook and asked them what they would recommend for a step deck and basically what I want I want everything that's on this trailer which is a standard 48 102 and uh, but it'd be a couple extra things so uh, the trailer is going to be a 53 102 step deck all aluminum step deck with the sliding rear axle uh, so be able to move this rear axle up to uh, closed tandem or an open tandem with 10 foot spread um, I'm gonna have a 24 inch kingpin setting which is the distance from the front of the trailer to where the kingpin sits down on this trailer it's 30 inches but need a 24 inch because the step deck drops down, need a little bit more room behind the rear wheels. So we're gonna get a 24 inch kingpin setting, which I think is standard on their trailer. Um, 22.5 tires. Now I went back and forth over the tire rims, either to go with the 22.5s or the 17.5s. And the consensus was at Mercer, uh, a 17 foot, a 17 inch, 17.5 inch tires at Mercer would not benefit me that much. So I went with the 22 fives. Uh, 22 five tires are easier to find than the 17 fives. So decided to go with 22 fives. Um, wrench, winch track, winch track. On both sides and that's what my trailer I have winch tracks on both sides which means I got sliding winches on both um, and I run 20 winches so it is kind of a weird setup I run 14 on the passenger side and six on the driver side and the reason it's set up like that is years ago when I had my Fontaine trailer that's how it was that's how I learned and I'm just used to being that way one advantage of having more winches on the passenger side if by chance I have to stop on the side of the road to fix something I'm standing away from traffic to tighten up winches so a uh, little bit of a safety there so that's why I like to put all my my winches on the uh, on the uh, passenger side of the truck uh, J hooks those are the little J hooks that hook into the aluminum track on the side of the trailer um, I wanted 24 of those I'll go show you when I get done here what the J hooks are um, and then with the J hooks I wanted what I call chain pop-ups and I've seen another Dorsey aluminum de uh, trailer that had the chain pop-ups and the J hooks so I wanted to go with the chain pop-ups chain pop-up pop-ups work uh, pretty good with uh, vehicles so I wanted to see if they would do that now, like I said this is a wish list I gave them a wish list they said just tell us what you want we'll see what we can do um, rear strobe lights I have a set of rear strobe lights on this trailer but it's wired to a switch on the back of the trailer and I wanted it wired to an extra seven-way plug on the front which is also for my dump valve that you hear this noise here that little buzzer that's the dump valve to release the air out of the rear axle uh, so I wanted a dump valve on the rear axle also wired to the extra seven pin I'll go show you all this stuff outside here when we're done I want a lift axle on the front axle so let's see if they can do that uh, tire inflation system so it'd be like a tiring monitoring inflation system for the tires air scale I have an air scale on my trailer coil package 
coil package is extra cross members right where you set a coil and I actually have a coil on the trailer right now so I can go show you that uh, ramps so I went with a four ramp system see if and then those ramps can also double as load levelers now when I was talking to the guys at Mercer and the Mer Facebook group they the general consensus was you would be hauling about 80% flatbed or step deck freight which can go on either or and about 20 percent step deck freight just just exclusive step deck freight so the ramps wouldn't be a uh, all the time for every load but uh, they would also double as load levelers and that was definitely one thing i needed uh dunnage rack so when i was talking with the guys at dorsey they said they're trying to develop a dunnage rack that goes in the back of the trailer. So the dunnage would go into the back of the trailer long ways, which I thought was pretty cool. So they're going to try to develop that, put a dunnage rack that would go in the back of the trailer instead of on the side where you usually see them. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then uh, utility boxes, so toolboxes. I put four on there. I don't know how many I can get with the ramps and everything. Basically, put as many as you can on there. Uh, I like my toolboxes. One disadvantage of having toolboxes is you start carrying around too much junk. Uh, I think I'm going to have to cut down on my tarps. And I believe I'm going to go, I'm going to get a set of lightweight eight foot drop tarps and just use those. Right now, I have a set of four foot drops and a set of eight foot drops and i don't use my eight foot drops very much but with the step deck i probably would need the eight foot drops more often i'm assuming um so i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna go ahead and order a set of lightweight eight foot tarps that i can hump up and carry and then the last thing i put on the list was disc brakes i don't know if that's an option but if i can get disc brakes on the trailer i thought that'd be pretty cool all right, let's go outside. I'll show you what uh, the different things on my trailer that I want on the step deck. We're at a uh, nice rest area here in Missouri. Nice sunset. So this is the extra seven way I was talking about. So the this green seven way right here, this is my trailer lights and ABS and everything. This, this seven way, the only thing this thing does right now is uh, my dump valve for the trailer so I want to wire my uh, strobe lights to this seven way and when we get to the back of the trailer I'll show you so kingpin setting I was talking about kingpin setting so this is the kingpin setting right here and it's sitting at 30 inches on this trailer so it'd be about 24 inches on the step deck which would fifth wheel would stay in the same spot but the trailer would be about right here. So I'll think about getting some quarter fenders. Uh, these are J-hooks. Let me show you, let me grab one of these real quick. So I call these J-hooks because it looks like a J. They drop down in this groove. See that groove right there? They drop down in that groove. And that's how they work. Put the chain on there. I'll show you when we get back here. Winch track. So you can see the winch track right here. So this is the winch track. And this is the bar I hooked the strap to, the, the winch hook to that, that bar right there. We got a coil. That's what we loaded. And then you can see my J hooks right there for the coil. We got a 42,000 pound coil. So this trailer and the step deck is rated at 52,000 in four feet. So you could set just like this coil right here. So each one of these is two feet. So you could put 52,000 pounds in four feet. Let me crawl under the trailer here. I'll show you what the coil package looks like. So hopefully it shows up. You see the extra cross members in there? That's considered a coil package. So you can see there's actually more up here. This trailer here, when I first got it, and I went to Dorsey, I asked them if they could put some more cross members in here, and they did. But that's a coil package right there. 
toolboxes, lift axle. You guys have seen me lift this axle up. Now this trailer is 48 foot long. Uh, the step deck will be 53 foot long, so I'm going to be a pretty long truck. So that's going to be another five feet out here. But uh, the rear axle is going to slide. I've never had a trailer set up like that, so that'll be something to learn. But uh, it's going to have a sliding rear axle, so you can slide it up to the front. Have what they call a closed tandem, which is that right there. Oh, let's look at the lights back here. So I told him I wanted an eight light setup, which are these lights. So this is my turn and brake lights right here. This is my strobe light. The way this trailer's set up, it's set up with a switch for the strobes, but the ignition's got to be on. You hit that switch, turn on the strobes. What I want is to get that switch wired all the way to the front so I can do it from in the cab. So the dunnage rack that we're talking about was going to be in the back of the trailer that they've designed a way to put a door in and slide the dunnage back into the back back there. And you can see all my winches on this side of the trailer. And that's just the way I just do it like that because that's the way my first trailer did it. So pretty much I want the step deck set up just like my flatbed right now. Um, with a couple extra flat uh, step deck things. Uh, Dorsey trailer has been good to me. This Dorsey trailer has been good to me. So uh, I'm kind of excited. I'm waiting. Um, they're talking maybe about a month or so. Uh, they were supposed to start building it the 1st of April. So uh, probably about 30 days or so to run through the factory, get it built. But that's kind of the trailer update. I'm excited. Like I said, I've never done step deck before. It'd be uh, a little bit of a learning experience for me. But uh, learning is good. So uh, I'll keep you updated.